All right, I'm about to spray the yard with 2,4-D to get rid of some of the weeds. Uh, I made a kind of kind of homemade uh, boom. Well, it's a homemade boom, but the sprayer I bought from Tractor Supply, it's 15-gallon uh, Femco sprayer. But I made this boom so I wouldn't I could get better uh, better coverage of the yard driving around it. All I did was take this piece of metal um, that I had in my garage and I bought fittings from Tractor Supply. And I used the hose that was on it. It still has the wand just in case I want to spray, like use it as a spot sprayer, but I don't need, um, I don't need anything bigger than a two gallon sprayer to do a spot sprayer. So that's why I made the boom and have this set up now. And then I could just drive it around the yard and spray. It saves me a lot of time um, and money versus getting like True Green to come out and do it or um, any, any lawn service. So uh, let me take one of these nozzles off. It's a one gallon per minute pump. This nozzle says, it says 80-04-LECHER, uh, L-E-R, and I don't know what that says, looks like NTL38, but uh, the pump is set up so it has an automatic shutoff once it builds up pressure. It never actually shuts off whenever the sprayer boom is on there because it is using a gallon per minute. Um, so it runs constantly, which is not uh, not a problem because I just keep I keep moving, and I have this uh, on-off switch right there. So when I want to stop spraying, I just turn that off and. About three seconds later, these stop spraying, um, just because the pressure in the line and everything. So um, it works real well. I used it twice last year. I used it to put liquid fertilizer on, um, and 2,4-D twice. I mixed the liquid fertilizer and the 2,4-D together. Um, the first time I did it, uh, the I can't remember which which was first. I put I think I put the 2,4-D in the tank and then put the liquid fertilizer into it and it turned into like a sludge so um, be aware of that that if you're mixing uh, liquid fertilizer and 2,4-D which it says you can do on the uh, 2,4-D I use that it may turn into a sludge there's a certain you have to put it in and uh, um, you have to put it in 2,4-D first, and then nitrogen, or nitrogen, and then 2,4-D. I can't remember. It's been well over a year. This is a 2,4-D. Uh, I use weed killer. It doesn't hurt the grass. Um, I think it was $20 at Tractor Supply. I've been using it for, this will be the third year of me using it. So, um, it goes a long way. I think you only put uh, two ounces per gallon or one ounce per gallon. I'll have to figure that out now. Update. I'll look through here. One quart. I'll look through here. I'll let you know before I start spraying. But uh, it works real well. It kills all the weeds. Makes my grass uh, look a lot better. <clears throat> This is what I'm working with right now. I just uh, just cut the grass. Did a fertilizer video last week, and I had the fertilizer set to come out too fast. And it's crazy because um, during the day you could see right. I started out right down here and went down around the corner before I figured out it was coming out way too fast. And you could see the greenest stripe. I mean, just right down around this corner, around that tree right over there. So it looks like I need more fertilizer for the yard, and I know I, I know I do because of the soil sample, but I just didn't have an extra hundred bucks to spend to get the uh, what it called for, which was three bags of fertilizer for the front and the backyard. Um, so maybe next week I'll get another bag, and then 
you know, not pay after that, I'll get another or something. But it did make a huge difference just putting down one bag. So I'm gonna get this set up and get the 2,4-D in it, and I will let you know what I mix it at, and I'll take some video of it spraying. Thanks. Okay, the directions say one ounce per gallon is 15 gallon. I have um, about 14 ounces. Uh, I'm gonna fill it up to 15 ounces, but or uh, 15 gallons. But I am good with. 14 being in there, so that's what I'm mixing 14 to 15 gallons. It should, should be do a good enough job for what I want. So now all I have to do is strap the tank down a little bit and add the water, and I will be back with you actually spraying. I just got done spraying, cleaned the sprayer out, washed it out with water. There's nothing that really uh, I want to grow here, so washed it out right there. Um, let that dry before I put it away until probably next year. 
Um, it says you could do this twice a year. I mixed it one ounce per gallon per the instructions. Um, but I typically only have to do this once a year. I did talk to a landscaper. He said if you put the lawn to bed without weeds, then it'll wake up without weeds. What he meant by that was um, if you do it in the fall, then you shouldn't have any weeds come spring. But it still seems like still seems like we have some weeds. <laughs> Here's my little hobos. Why does he have a Cleveland Indians hat on? What is, what is going on? Where did you guys find all these clothes? Oh yeah. So anyways, uh, here's the lawn right now. It's got a bunch of chickweed in it. Um, it's got dandelions. It's got a bunch of random stuff. So I will do a uh, another video, an update video on this in about two weeks once this stuff, two or three weeks once this stuff has started dying off. You can see it's got a just chickweeds everywhere. I I don't know where it really came from because uh, I didn't have a problem with it the re like in the beginning of the year, but it is out like crazy right now. And the backyard's the same way. So um, there's some other random random stuff that popped up too. So I will do an update video, and you can see what it looks like um, once the 2,4D has actually taken effect. But that is my DIY sprayer, and so far I'm very happy with it. it does everything I need it to do. Um, that's about it, I guess. Thanks.